The purpose of this video is to show how to properly perform a calibration of the sensors inside of a Felix gas analyzer. In this video, a F950 three gas analyzer will be used as our demonstration instrument. The standard gases used to calibrate in this video are appropriate for an F950. Please see the support page for your Felix gas analyzer for the proper standard gases to use for the F920, F940, and F960 instruments. Our support page can be found online at felixinstruments.com backslash support. As with any analytical instrument, proper calibration must be maintained to ensure accurate readings. Please see the support page for the proper calibration schedule of your Felix gas analyzer. To perform a calibration, you will need your Felix gas analyzer, tubing accessories kit, and the proper standard gas supply. If you have not viewed it already, please review the attachment to a standard gas tank video to ensure a proper connection between your instrument and the standard gas tank. Each calibration of a sensor inside the instrument requires three steps. The first is to set the baseline or zero of the sensor, similar to tarring a balance on a scale. The second is to set the span or gain of the sensor with a known concentration of standard gas. The final step is to verify that the calibration was successful by reading a second known concentration of standard gas. To begin, navigate from the main menu to Setup Calibration. Dependent upon your firmware version installed on the instrument, access to the calibration menu may require a passcode. This first video shows a full two-point calibration for the ethylene sensor within the instrument. The first point of calibration, the offset, requires attachment of an external chamber filled with potassium permanganate. Ensure that you use potassium permanganate beads and not dust in your external chamber and double check that the color of the beads are purple. Brown potassium permanganate beads should be refreshed. Attach the male lure lock to the intake of your gas analyzer and the female lure lock to the outtake of your gas analyzer. With C2H4 highlighted on your screen, right arrow to select calibration for this sensor. The display will prompt you to please set up zero gas, press measure button when ready. The external chamber filled with potassium permanganate creates a closed loop environment through which the gas circulates. The potassium permanganate scrubs the gas stream of ethylene creating a zero ppm environment for the sensor, equivalent to a zero gas. Once your external chamber is secured, press the measure button to initiate the offset. The display will read setting zero in and give a countdown in seconds to the completion of the offset. It will also show what the C2H4 sensor is currently reading in parts per million. It is not necessarily expected that the sensor reads zero before the baseline is set. The baseline of the ethylene sensor may have shifted due to sensor drift, and this process will reset the proper baseline. It is important to truly create a zero ppm environment so that you are not setting a false baseline for the sensor. Ensure that your potassium permanganate is fresh and that the connection between your external chamber and intake and outtake of the instrument is airtight. When the set zero process is completed, the display will automatically switch to read, please set up span gas, press the measure button when ready. For the F950, 100 ppm C2H4 standard gas is used to set the span or gain of the sensor. Please refer to the Felix support page for the proper gas concentration for your Felix gas analyzer. Once you have ensured a proper flow rate from the standard gas tank, and connected your instrument via the tubing accessories kit to the intake of the gas analyzer, press the measure button to initiate the second point of the calibration. There is no countdown to completion during the span calibration. We recommend allowing the ethylene sensor to stabilize for 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, the up-down arrow keys on the instrument should be used to adjust the stabilized concentration to match the true concentration of your standard gas tank. Again, it is not necessarily expected that the sensor will be reading the standard gas tank accurately, as the purpose of calibration is to adjust the sensor to read the appropriate concentration. 
Once you have adjusted the concentration to match the concentration of the standard gas, press the measure button to record this calibration point. The display will automatically exit you back to the main calibration menu. Don't forget to verify that your calibration was successful by measuring a second concentration of standard gas and ensuring that the sensor is reading within the accuracy range of the instrument.